Electric vehicles and electric heating are expected to put a strain on northern power grids. A new study out of Yukon University offers utilities some ways to fix that. The CBC's Lini Lambring explains. This is Yellowknife's school draw neighborhood. Researchers modeled all of the power infrastructure here, and then they ran different scenarios. They found that if more people install electric vehicle chargers at home or start using electric heat, it's going to put a strain on the grid, especially for transformers like this one. And that's going to cause a whole host of problems. Transformers could get overloaded and overheated, in which case transformers could malfunction and there could cause damage on the electric power infrastructure itself. The study looks at other parts of Yellowknife, Whitehorse, and Dawson City, too. For example, if half the people living in Whitehorse's Dakini neighborhood installed EV chargers and a third had electric heat, more than half of the hydro poles wouldn't have enough voltage. ATCO Electric owns utilities in both territories. It isn't surprised by the report's findings. We appreciate Dr. Ross and his team uh, doing the study. Uh, really, for us, wasn't as many surprises in there as we really knew this was just putting a heavy load on the, on the system. Uh, it really helps us look at planning and, and have these bigger conversations about collaboration with government and incentivizing at the right time for electric vehicles uh, or not. The NWT and Yukon governments are incentivizing electric vehicles already. Both are offering people rebates for EVs and level two chargers. And Ross's study also offers some solutions, options that aren't just expensive infrastructure upgrades. One solution is to adjust the cost of electricity so that it's cheaper when there's less demand. Here, when everybody's charging, there, that is going to cost a premium because our infrastructure can't handle it versus it's cheaper to charge overnight. So that way people could schedule their electric vehicle charging accordingly. Ross says right now the NWT and Yukon power grids aren't facing this kind of stress from electric vehicles and electric heat. But as governments turn toward greener sources of energy, that stress could come. Ross says his work is just scratching the surface when it comes to solutions. Lainey Lambrink, CBC News, Yellowknife.